Welcome to the BAFTAs. How is it being here today? What does it mean to you, the craft behind the awards? Uh, it's, it, I was just saying, it feels like it's more important than, than what we do. We're kind of the final piece of the puzzle actors and everyone um, everyone behind the camera has the power to really make us look terrible if they want to. Um, they, uh, it's, it's just nice to celebrate people who, who get up the earliest and they leave the latest and they do the hardest work and they're on every day. We get to breeze in and out when our scenes are and they just deserve to be recognised. So speaking of someone who doesn't deserve to be recognised, you yourself, you're in um, Da Vinci's Demons. Yeah. Massive success, of course. Are you surprised it's been such a success? or And how is it just to play Da Vinci? Is that something you ever thought you'd do? <laughs> the, the answering questions backwards, like, no, Da Vinci was never something, if you told me at, at you know, 10 years old you're going to grow up and play someone that you're learning about in school, I probably would have laughed myself out of the building. Um, it's, it's an incredible privilege. And also, we're doing a kind of fantastical version of Da Vinci, so I get to play him while mixed in with this kind of Indiana Jones, James Bond, Tony Stark figure, so it's crazy. Um, the other question was... <laughs> Um, just he's surprised by the success of it. Oh yeah, I mean absolutely. We, we when we originally started the season, it was uh, the first series. It was a British and American show, mm -hmm. and in the interim, since filming it, we've sold to 150 countries around the world. And just having people get in contact from every single, from Turkey and Papua New Guinea, and I went on holiday somewhere in the Indian Ocean over Christmas, and it was on there. And the people, in the, that's something I've never would never would have predicted. So David S. Goya is the sort of writer and creator. Are you surprised you didn't get a call? Uh, um, for Superman or Steel 2, you could be in Batman or any other superhero. Who says I didn't? <laughs> <laughs> ben Affleck probably would say you didn't. Get Batman. Oh, yeah. well, you mean why am I not playing Batman? Yeah. yeah, that's a whole different. That's a whole different beast. No, the the uh, what what David has planned for Batman Superman is a very different take. Can you tell us any juicy gossip on that? Not without getting a uh, horse's head in my bed. <laughs> um, no, but it, I, I think uh, Ben Affleck's going to be fantastic. Actually, yeah, yeah very much going to fit perfectly into the this this movie they've created. Brilliant. And finally, you're going to be. Doctor Who next, is that right? Yeah. How's that and how's right Peter Capaldi? I'm right here. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. right like, uh, tomorrow morning. I'm going to get in a car tonight and I'm going to be up at five o'clock in the morning shooting that. It's, um, I think Peter's going to completely revitalise the show. Not that it needed revitalising, but he's going to bring something completely different to the Doctor. A change of tone then? A change of tone that, um, but only the change of tone, the, you know, when you change the lead actor, everything's going to change, but you can rest assured he's going to absolutely smash it. How, how many episodes are you going to be in? Can you tell us something like that? You're, what sort of character you're playing? No, I can't tell you. <laughs> uh, the, I mean, the thing about Doctor Who is it's chased around the world by so there's 50 fans hanging around every location we do. So the photos are out there of what I'm doing, and people are putting it together what they think I might be playing. Um, but I couldn't say until they tell me I can. Uh, but uh, it's just one episode. But it's um, it's a really fun episode written by Mark Gatiss. So you know, we're in good hands. It's a brilliant. Thanks, Anton. Brilliant to talk to you. Have a brilliant night. Lovely to talk to you.